And I wanted to be like, oh, you know, it's not real. <laughs> My name's David Harris. I am a comedian, but I started as a magician. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, wizard, level 17. I started performing magic in bars when I was 15 years old, up close to people's tables. And there was always that one drunk guy, hey, can you make my wife disappear? <laughs> it's like, you know what, sir? I'm surprised she's not gone already. <laughs> now pick a card. <laughs> It's good to be here. I, I do a lot of corporate events. Uh, I did one recently in uh, Caledonia, Minnesota, on purpose, and uh, <laughs> it was really fun. Actually, I came up to the caterer after the show. I said, you should have a public comedy and magic show here. And she said, maybe the comedy. <laughs> I was like, well, what about the magic? And she goes, uh, we're a little religious. <laughs> And I wanted to be like, oh, you know, it's not real. <laughs> and then throw a smoke bomb down and totally vanish. <laughs> she would have been like, oh my God, Satan. <laughs> and I would have been like, no, David Harris. <laughs> My name is David Harris. Uh, growing up, my nickname was David Harry Butt, <laughs> which uh, didn't really bother me, <laughs> but now it's true and that pisses me off. <laughs> Actually, growing up, my mom would be like, you know, Harris is a black name. <laughs> and I'd be like, are they here? Are they gonna get us? And now I know that Harris is actually a Jewish name, Mom. Cause eh, we're Jewish. <laughs> so we should probably whisper. Uh... Where are my Jews? See? <laughs> I was raised Jewish. Uh, I don't really follow the religious stuff too much. I think that makes me Lutheran. <laughs> Where are my Lutherans? Actually, don't wave like this. Not a good idea. <laughs> we are like you, Joel! All right. It is good to be here. Uh, last show, actually, I drove with my new lady friend, uh, but she was yelling at me the whole time. Yeah, she was like, recalculating, recalculating, recalc... <laughs> I was like, shut up, Garmin. <laughs> she hates that, because her name's Tom Tom. <laughs> it's good to be here. Uh, I am from the Twin Cities. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. <laughs> One person, all right. What's up? <laughs> uh, a lot of people look at me, they think I'm from New York, uh, especially when I do this. Uh, <laughs> this is never. Uh, no one ever thinks New Hope, Minnesota. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I live, uh, I'm from New Hope. I live in Robbinsdale now, right on the edge of North Minneapolis, which is considered a dangerous area by some. Uh, nothing's ever happened to me except my roommate got his laptop stolen. I might give it back. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Wait and see. I feel comfortable with where I live. That's what I'm trying to say. My neighbors don't feel comfortable. <laughs> That's where I live. I'm kind of a bad homeowner. <laughs> well, I don't really own my home. <laughs> Citibank. <laughs> I should call them up. Be like, I need to clean up your stuff. It's a mess here. How old are you? <laughs> Two years ago, my mailman wrote, shovel your walk on my mail. I felt horrible, actually. I got him a gift on Christmas. Uh, he did not like the shovel. 
I'm like, I don't like it either. That's why I gave it to you. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, man, I'm just glad I don't have to hand out Halloween candy anymore now that my sister has kids that go over there. Because when I first went in, I had to hand it out. <laughs> and I didn't have it, all of it ready because there were like 4,000 kids. So I went to my trick-or-treating at my neighbor's house. <laughs> She's like, what are you supposed to be? I'm like, prepared, give me the candy. <laughs> Let's not belabor this. I do love the Midwest. That's where I'm from. I love the Midwest. Um, and if you're from the Midwest, you kind of got to know about sports. We got some sports fans here. Oh, okay, all right, I wasn't sure. I don't know anything about sports. Last year, I thought the Twins were gonna win. The Stanley Cup, all right? I don't know anything. Guys will come up to me at the bar. Guys will come up to me at the bar, they're like, who do you think's gonna win the game, man? And I'm always like, we are. They're like, what do you think the score is gonna be? And I'm always like, tight. I have to go to the bathroom. I mean, I used to play tennis. That's the typical response. <laughs> I went to a tennis and life camp. It's a Christian tennis camp in St. Peter, Minnesota, which is weird because I'm a Jew. <laughs> I don't know if my mom had a coupon. I'm not sure what the heck happened there. Hey, that's not what I meant. <laughs> One of the instructors came up to me and John Rappaport, the only other Jewish kid in the camp. They're like, hey, do you guys want to go to morning reflections? We're like, no, we're just gonna stay in our room and be Jewish. <laughs> Count our money. You know what I mean? We're not gonna do any of that. <laughs> but they had songs we'd sing, and of course that was my favorite part, being a performer. All right, I'll sing you one. Uh, give me a T, give me a TL, give me a TLC, yes, that's the place for me. Dennis in life camp, where are we? I added that, uh, <laughs> where we meet all kinds of people and do serves for him. Do you know how embarrassing this is for me right now? <laughs> I need, it was a motivational tennis camp though, and that was to get us motivated. I need that motivation now, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, yeah, you know my song, well not right now, but. <laughs> it's my mom, she came with too. Uh, I need that motivation now. You know, now my song is, give me a P, give me a P-I, give me a P-I-Z-Z-A, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Where I meet all kinds of people and go home by myself. What? <laughs> After the show and emotionally eat till I cry. Give me a P. <laughs> all right, some of you are with me. Some of you are like, that was sad. <laughs> I know they have these at the game, if I can get it out, right? Homer Hanky sometimes, or crying towels. <laughs> okay, just for me on the crying towel, all right? <laughs> yeah, are you a sports guy, sir, are you sports? He's like, eh. <laughs> you're like me, you're like, whatever. <laughs> you sports, sir? Sports man, what do you like? Basketball. basketball, that's the... <laughs> Play basketball for a little bit, I know that one. I asked a guy in the front row a couple days ago, I go, what's your favorite sport? He said, fishing. I go, no, 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 it's sport, but you can't say that. <laughs> because I was joking, but they were not laughing. <laughs> we're like, it is a sport, I sit. <laughs> I'm like, that's my kind of sport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be weird to bring one of these there on the shore, like, get that walleye! <laughs> you stink! <laughs> Been here for five minutes. <laughs> All right, but I'm the kind of guy that goes <laughs> goes to the game. This guy's like, uh oh, here comes the magic. <laughs> Is a bird gonna fly to my butt? No. Uh... <laughs> no, I'm the kind of guy that goes to the game and notices everything else that happens. You ever go to a game? Sometimes you go to a game and you buy a drink, and they'll actually uh, take and remove your bottle cap. You ever notice that? Yeah, you go to a game and you buy a drink and they'll take and remove. Hold your applause, we're building. <laughs> you are, okay, good, all right, I like that. You ever go to a game and you buy a drink? Hey, look, it's green. <laughs> all right, couple more family members there. <laughs> I don't know what they're worried about. Ready, one, two, three. All right. 
Thank you, thank you. Maybe they're worried you're gonna hit someone in the head with the cap, right? Well, maybe they should be less worried about the cap and more worried about the bottle. That was not funny, was it, right there? <laughs> that guy was like, what is this, a Gallagher show now? <laughs> You're gonna need a tarp. I almost spilled that on you. I'm gonna give this to you, sir, since I almost spilled it. I mean, there you go. All right, yeah, do not throw that at me. <laughs> What's your name, my friend? Easton. E Easton, is that a baseball bat? <laughs> that's a weird name, that's tough. I'm not messing with you, seriously. My name's Hockey Stick, that's my nickname, so. <laughs> Easton, you seem like a good guy. Now, I shouldn't have gave that to you. You are going to throw it at me. You know? uh, Easton, uh, are you a drinker? You a drink? Soda. <laughs> me too. I'm not a drinker. That's, that's not part of what I do. That's not part of who I am. It's uh, not who I am. I'm not a drinker. No, oh, this? Shut up. This is my Match.com profile picture, all right? Yeah, I'm not a drinker. I'm an eater. The nice thing about being an eater, though, I'm an eater. The nice thing about being an eater versus a drinker is at least you can't get pulled over for eating. <laughs> Too much? Yet. Can you imagine that, Griff? How much have you had to eat tonight, sir? <laughs> uh, like one or two burgers. Four burgers. <laughs> get out of the car. And run this line. <laughs> I'll do it for a treat. <laughs> You'll do it because I say now. Get in the back. We're going to Snap Fitness. <laughs> you guys have Snap Fitness here? No. <laughs> you got, some of you are like. <laughs> we have Lifetime Fitness in Minneapolis. Lifetime. Yeah, that's usually how long it takes me to get in there. <laughs> they should just call it Nice Try. Wouldn't that be better, right? You just pull up with your car. Yeah, it was, thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> I should go though, I'm a big dude. I'm not fat, you know, but I'm not skinny. So I'm fat. Uh... <laughs> I know, my doctor, I went to the doctor recently, he's like, David, you weigh 275 pounds. That's as heavy as you can get. I'm like, you wanna bet? <laughs> I know I can get to 300. <laughs> I don't want to, but he's like, no, you don't. You're pre-diabetic. I'm like, okay, that's not funny. Uh, I told that to my friends. They're like, everyone is. <laughs> I'm like, well, then I'm more jerks. Uh, yeah. No, I'm a reward. My dad's a little crazy too, though. It's friends in the family. You know what my dad said to me one time? He goes, David. <laughs> David. I could see aliens in my peripheral vision. <laughs> I was like, Dad, that's ridiculous. Like, what the heck is that? <laughs> so we didn't know. He, had, he has memory issues now, which of course is not funny, but we didn't know that some of the side effects of memory issues might be, might be hallucination. <laughs> So we didn't know that, because he'd do other crazy stuff that was unrelated. He'd be like, David, your last name's Harris. My last name's Harris. <laughs> what are the odds? I was like, 100%, Dad. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> he'd be like, your niece, his name, it, not his name. <laughs> your niece's name is Riley. And I went to Fort Riley, Kansas. <laughs> I'm like, Dad, that's a coincidence. He's like, is it? <laughs> My dad does other crazy stuff, though. Just quirky stuff, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm starting to do it, too. My dad's like, he, <laughs> he doesn't do it now as much, but he did it before. He was memory stuff. He'd be like, David, look at that guy over there. That's a cross between Arnold Schwarzenegger and John Claude Van Damme. I'm like, Dad, that guy's black. <laughs> and then he'd go, little bit. Little black or little... <laughs> <laughs> he 
this was years ago. He'd go, look at that lady over there. That's a cross between your Aunt Judy. I'm like, Dad, we don't have an Aunt Judy. <laughs> and then he'd be like, little bit. <laughs> now I'm starting to do it. <laughs> I'm like, look at that girl over there. She's on. And my friends are like, I'm like, a little bit. <laughs> Karma. It's karma. But uh, I, uh, I am uh, single. No, no, don't awe me. <laughs> What's your number? Uh, no, I'm single. I've kind of been floating between dating and single. Uh, I just, you know, like I haven't been ready for a serious relationship. I think now I'm ready, but before I'd walk in a restaurant to meet a girl, first thing out of my mouth, I don't want anything serious. First thing out of her mouth, I'm your server. <laughs> I know my mom wants me to be a nice girl. She's like, David, I want you to meet a nice Jewish girl. That's what she used to say. Now she's like, David, I want you to meet someone. <laughs> this is Brian. <laughs> mom! All right, what's he do for a living? Yeah, it's cool. Like, I, I'm lucky I get to do this because my parents didn't love what they were doing for their careers, and I wanted to do something I enjoyed. Like, my mom worked for a nonprofit, and my dad uh, was one. But, uh... <laughs> not on purpose. He wasn't like, we're going to bring this family to its knees financially. <laughs> that would have been weird for a Jewish lawyer. <laughs> and my mom felt like she had to carry all the weight. And I know that because she'd say things like, do I have to carry all the weight? <laughs> So when I learned I could turn tricks or perform magic, uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, sign me up, this is it. This is better than working at McDonald's. And by the way, no offense if you've ever worked at McDonald's. Huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys know they have two people that take your order at the drive-thru now? Two people at the one box. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Yeah, I'll the number seven. That'll be 849. <laughs> the weirdest thing. I always try to outdo them to them. I'm always like, thank you. <laughs> They're like, we know it's you, sir. Please pull up. <laughs> and a few seconds later, I hear recalculating. <laughs> How many voices are going on here? <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have been super fun. Uh, I've been doing another four hours, but I wanted to... Uh, <laughs> I was talking about weird stuff that happens on the road. I have all these different things. Uh, here, I'll, I'll show you. I have all these different maps. Oh, okay. From the places I perform. Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> you guys are like, he's, he has his Garmin and a GPS and this. Yeah, I got it all, all right? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm prepared. And I got to get out of here. Uh, so I have all these different maps from the places I perform. I'm going to show you them all. And I already talked about some of those places. <laughs> I got southern Minnesota, northern Minnesota, <laughs> North Dakota, South Dakota, <laughs> other Paris, <laughs> Afghanistan. I got all sorts of different. <laughs> how, many people, um, how many people have been to uh, t uh, Houston, by the way? Houston? Anybody been to Houston? I have this from Houston. They flew me back from a gig one time. By the way, I'll tell you about that in a minute. First of all, I told you a couple road stories. I want to close with a couple other ones. Weird stuff does happen to me on the road. I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, one time, uh, <laughs> some stuff, weird stuff happens at home. But you can come up to me after the show. That's fine. Don't be afraid. I know I'm sweaty, but don't be afraid of that. And uh, some guy came up to me after a show, and he, and he was like, hey, man, you were really funny. Say, uh, I remember people by their teeth. <laughs> I was like, uh, I remember people who remember people by their teeth. <laughs> it's a creepy thing to say, right? I was like, I don't like that one bit. I think he meant to say, like, nice smile, but it came out, I have people in my basement. <laughs> Would you like a necklace? <laughs> no. I don't want any of that. But weird stuff does happen to me at home, too. 
Like, uh, I'm at the Mall of America. Uh, I perform there. I don't just walk around. <laughs> I do that, too. Uh, but they have, a, they have a bathroom at the Mall of America. Well, they have lots of bathrooms. <laughs> Different places. Anyway, I'm going to tell you about this weird bathroom at the mall. It's at this Mexican restaurant. And this woman comes on. And I like to learn Spanish just now when I'm in the bathroom. Because some woman came on over the loudspeaker. Over the loudspeaker. And she goes, <laughs> she goes, um, she goes, uh, hospital, hospital. And I'm sitting, I'm, I'm peeing. <laughs> <laughs> sitting. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The woman comes on, she goes, hospital, hospital. And I'm like, yeah. And then she goes, muerto, death. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is going to happen to me in here? <laughs> so weird. Some, some guy comes over the night, ah, take that. <laughs> nice, cochillo. <laughs> what? It's just weird. I just want to relax. I don't need to learn Spanish. Other stuff happened to me. One time I thought someone was whispering at me in a bathroom. It was like, psst. I was like, oh, I don't want to talk. <laughs> what is that? It was like, psst. Turns out it was an air freshener. <laughs> yeah, it was like, psst, where to? <laughs> Super crazy. <laughs> but one time I flew to Houston, um, and they flew me back. Um, kind of like they're going to hopefully do <laughs> here, uh, and uh, <laughs> I mean, I hope they do, otherwise it'd be really weird. By the way, you ever on the, uh, you ever on the airplane, the pilot comes on, he's like, <laughs> that's not what they do, but <laughs> they go, this is your pilot from the flight deck. <laughs> yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> this is your pilot from my living room couch. Uh, just had a couple of drinks, I'm going to be flying the plane with a joystick. Good luck up there. This is your pilot. I'm laying on top of the plane right now. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can make it. <laughs> what? So anyway, they flew me to the gig, and I got and I got the furthest uh, monorail away from my luggage. That's how it works. That's why I had to take it. And a woman came on there, just like in the bathroom, but this time with a British accent. And she goes, and I was in, I'm in my home state. And she goes, next stop gate A. Eh? And for a split second, I was like, where am I? <laughs> And then I went to the UK a few weeks later. I swear to you, a woman came on there and she goes, Oh, yeah, you bet. You're going to want to get off here, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, it feels good to be home. <laughs> and it does feel good to be home in my home state of Minnesota when I get back. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's Wisconsin. <laughs> Recalculating. <laughs> you guys be on the fun of David Harris. Thank you so much. Okay, a lot of fun. Thank you. Local man robs Wendy's with alligator. We're the alligator boys now. And the lady, they sit in the bank, she be going, Mom, Mom. <laughs> 